Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I would like to share with you my first design team project for Scrapbooking with Me Boutique on Facebook, and I will put a link down below. If you're not part of the group, please come follow the link, come over, and request an invitation, and someone will add you right away. This um, is the January kit. Each month, Scrapbooking with Me Boutique offers a monthly kit, and they are loaded. To see everything that was included with this kit, um, please watch my previous video. There was a lot of items in it. Um, Edith, the owner of Scrapbooking with Me Boutique, is extremely talented in putting together the kits every month. They are loaded with items that all blend together so beautifully. Now, to show you what I created, I went with a captured heart theme, and I built the cage with chipboard that I purchased from the boutique, and it comes in a variety of sizes and colors. I'll list below all the items that are available in the boutique for your convenience Almost everything that I used came from the boutique. There's very little that actually came from my stash. I'm just going to zoom in here okay, along the base and along the top. Sorry for the light. And inside the cage I've used pearl trim that is available in the boutique at certain times as orders come in. Okay. And along the top there, what I did was I inserted vellum and I did a die cut that I painted in a light pink and then I highlighted it with the Wink of Stella uh, marker. And then for the door, I've added the Ingrid Bowman embellishments along the bottom there. And on the top of the cage, I've also used a key from the kit that I've highlighted with, I've uh, put stickles on. I like the color of the wood key, so I wanted to kind of keep that, but I wanted some shine to it. And now for all the flowers, those are all Wild Orchid craft flowers and leaves that I purchased from the boutique, all the way up. Some of these came in my kit. And I used up everything from the kit. I've also added small pieces of the ephemera that were included into it. I've put in some laces that were from the December kit that I had trimmed, cut apart. And then I've inserted, um, I put uh, stickles on almost all of the flowers, especially the roses. And I've inserted some, uh, I'm not sure what you call, I guess it's tulle, small pieces in and out and through, throughout the, throughout the whole thing. Now inside, here we're gonna get a little shaky so I can show you the inside of the cage. Please excuse the shakes. Now inside the cage, I have also used some of the ephemera that I've also highlighted with the Wink of Stella. I've used the Wild Oak Craft flowers and leaves. I took apart and trimmed out the uh, beautiful blue lace, I'm trying to get in focus here for you and placed it down. I've also used some of the paper in there. I added a nest that is from my stash. I've also added a key that once again that one I actually heat embossed with gold with an antique gold. I've added Swarovski crystals in there as well. It turned out actually very beautiful to me. And inside the bottom one, I've trimmed the whole inside with the pearl trim 
and left it in an antique white. And here and there, like I said, I used some of the ephemera. The um, hinge, or the latch, I should say, is just for my stash. And so are the hinges on the back. And I can show you the back as well, or try to. The back I left pretty plain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything or not, but as I said, along the top here, I've used all the, the pearl trims. Okay, and now I'm just going to stop filming and show you the inside of the cage. Okay, so this is the inside of the cage. I've made it so that the whole um, project comes out of the cage and can be displayed separately. I created a base. I'm just going to zoom in for you. Please be patient with me. I'm trying a new angle on my camera. On the base here, I've used the trim, the pearl trim from the boutique. I've used the roses, the Wild Orchard Craft uh, flower, roses and leaves. I've added a Swarovski crystal. This also came with our kit from Wild Orchard Crafts. I just love that. That is absolutely cute. And I've added papers here and here from the kit as well. Um, I have decorated all four sides. I'm going to turn it around here. Some of these Wild Ogre crafts have come from my stash, but the roses all came with our kit. As you can see. And I have added the tool as well. Back to the front. This I've also created using the chipboard that I purchased from the boutique. It's going to come out a bit. There we go. And what I did was I did a base and then I've done a circle in here and I've also put some of the paper on it. Plus, I've added a paper doily in there. Um, I've used paper on this and made this as well. The red trim is just from my stash. And this actually removes. You've probably figured that out by the way I was moving it. So I just made it into a box. Just hold the heart. And the heart. I used the collection, of course, a lot of the ephemera. There was a lot of ephemera in the kit, and I used up almost all of it. There's, I believe, about ten little pieces left, and that's it. Um, I have highlighted all everything with Wink of Stella, and with Stickles, and on the key as well. And what I've done is you've captured my heart, and you hold the key. As I said, that was my theme. I added the butterfly. He's got stickles all around him as well. And so does this little one here. On the back, I used pearl trim, just some of the ephemera. And I've popped, put this up on pop dots. I really like that. That's really cute. And inside, what I did was I did coupons. Each coupon is in its own envelope. I'll take these out and show them to you. Oh, I should show you the rest of the box, too. Um, this actually came from the sticker sheet as well. It's very pretty. I really like that, and I've added the paper as well back in here. And this is just trim. Um, on the edges of my heart here, I uh, heat embossed it to give it a different look. I never know how to finish the edges of these, so that's what I did. And I've added the Wink of Stella. I know my camera doesn't show it, and I really wish it would, 
but I've added the Wink of Stella to all the flowers, everything. They just, everything sparkles. To me, that's, that's Valentine's. You know, the heart, the love, the sparkle. But anyways, so now for these. I did five different ones here. Okay. And here I've used the ephemera. And this is from the bottom of one of the sheets of paper because Kaiser Craft gives you a strip along the bottom with a border. So I cut it down and I stickled it all, put it on another piece. And this is all done up on pop dots. It's all done in Wink Stella. I've used um, stickles and Wink of Stella on the angel, or the cupid. I'm sorry, it's a cupid. And the heart as well. Um, this one, once again, this one I used a doily and just a bling from my stash. I've added the Wink of Stella to everything, including the doily, the heart, the ephemera is beautiful in this pack, like really beautiful. It's very easy to use. Uh, this one, I actually cut out the ephemera here. Um, I didn't like the white edge on it and I wanted it out, so I took that out. I added the stickles to the butterfly, added the little nymph in the back. Um, here, this was one of the tags that was uh, part of the paper pack. It had a sheet of tags, so I fussy cut that out, added the Wink of Stella to it, and then stuck it on. Um, this one, I've, sorry, this one I've just added the Wink of Stella to this. I put uh, stickles all around this. I put the I Love You, of course. Uh, here is part of the sticker sheet again, and just a piece of ribbon. All the envelopes I made with the paper from the kit. Oh, this one again. This is the other half of the tag I that I fussy cut out. I've added a little letter behind here. The I love you. The locked heart. Um, I liked this saying. Love this moment forever. I added the forever. And another one of the doilies. Um, I've used a lot of distress ink on everything and a lot of the Wink of Stella. And what I've done is inside each one of these, I can only show you one. Um, the others are private. But inside each one, I should show you the back of each one. Each one I have sealed with a wax seal on the back. Um, it's a kit that I have here to make your own seals. Okay. And inside each one is a gift card, or a coupon, I should say. It's a coupon. And this one is, it's this coupon is good for breakfast in bed every Saturday for one month. Snuggles thrown in for free. Um, I fussy cut out the heart here. Well, not fussy cut it, I slid it. So I could slide the this side printed on vellum and attached. And I slipped it in behind this heart, like that. I added the Wink of Stella. This is another piece of that border that's along the bottom of the paper, and I fussy cut all the heart tops out, and I added um, the Wink of Stella to that as well. And I've distressed the edges of this and this. And that's how the coupons are. Um, the others are very private, so I'm not going to show you those. But, as you can see, I tried, I love the theme of You've Captured My Heart, and You Hold the Key. So, each one of these can be taken out. Um, each one is a surprise because I have wax sealed all of them. They are closed. <laughs> and my husband, who I love very much, is going to receive this for Valentine's Day this year. So I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I will try to remember everything that I've used. I did write down things um, as I went along. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. And thank you very much for watching. And I can't wait to show you next month's project. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.